What is up, little num nums? Numer here, bringing you guys some seer gameplay. Now, in this gameplay, you will see an amazing kite by me. However, you're gonna see that my name is changed. Now, I do duo with CQI a lot, and we were thinking about matching names or something cool. And what kept being on my mind after loss after loss with randoms was Hunter. Just please chase me, please. So we did it. We did the thing together, and pretty much, I changed my name to Hunter. Please chase me in Chinese. Now, getting straight into this gameplay, you're going to see that Enchantress will take the first kite at Deep Shack. Now, you're going to see she does, she does some amazing dodges. And if you guys do not know, Enchantress does counter Sculptor. And you're going to see she does waste her speed boost. However, the Hunter could not catch up in time. And one thing to keep in mind is that this Hunter is running Teleport. And in Ranked, I actually know how to count when Teleport's going to be up in time. And Quenching Effect, obviously. But you see here, she does an amazing dodge right there. And she's going to push Shack. You see the statue coming through. But we are all good to go for her end. And you're going to see that he will teleport to me because he doesn't want to waste time on someone who actually counters him. And you're going to see here, I immediately drop the pallet. And right now, it sucks when the hunter teleports on you because you're like, man, the hunter's on me like white on rice. But you see here, I waste my boost. However, I did dodge a couple statues. I'm going to push the loop right outside of factory with these two pallets. Boom, I dodged that. I assume he was going to swing, so I kept going. I don't even have to look at it. And then boom, he's going to immediately break my pallets because he knows that there's a loop here. Right there, I probably should have just dropped the pallet and take the speed boost to get out of here. But you see here, I'm going to waste my owl. Boom, I knew he was going to swing. And I'm just going to push factory again. I do know basement is here, so I don't want to stay here for too long. Make sure you guys do watch that red line from the hunter. You see that he was trying to mind game me, but he couldn't. And yeah, I will be dropping a lot of gameplays today. I know you guys like when there's a lot of supply because, you know, there's a lot of demand. Now you're going to see here, I take this speed boost and I'm going to immediately leave because I know that if I stay here with no pallets, it's not going to look too good and basement here. And yes, I should probably be looking behind me when I play right now, but you know, we don't talk about that. The one match I placed here, I don't look behind me. We, we just don't talk about that. You see, I get clapped by a statue right there, but the hunter ended up swinging. So I ping help me so that the enchantress can drop the pallet in time, but she already had it dropped. You know, she's big brain, but you see here. I get smacked, and I was sitting there looking sick, but you know, the Enchantress did really, really good support, you guys, with that pallet stun. You're gonna see here that the Hunter actually thought I went to sandbags, but I stayed here. You know, I'm just hiding, crawling around, you know the vibes. And he ended up finding the four, and he was like, nope, he did not go this way. Now you're gonna see here that Hunter does break the pallet, and he does notice I'm here. So I'm just gonna keep running. I trust the Enchantress to drop the pallet for me. What does she do? Comes in clutch and drops the pallet for me. I probably shouldn't push back in a factory, but if I know I have enough distance and I could take this window speed boost, I could just leave factory completely. It's just a good area to be in because the Hunter cannot see you, so statues are not viable, nor him like throwing his chastel, etc. So you see me go all the way behind factory. I drop this pallet back here. Right now, we already got two ciphers left. I know one of them's at 80 and the other one's at 50. Something like that. It doesn't matter. But the forward's on me. I thought he was going to go for the stun, but he didn't. But, you know, I'm not tripping. I like a normal rescue. Except for you see here, I think you should use around 60 to 70% of your football when you do that stun. Not like 30. Because I'm going to instantly get clapped. So, you see here that I'm going to instantly get clapped, like I said. There's no pallet. Boop. I get smacked. But I'm going to leave factory since that was my original cipher and they're trying to rush it. I'm going to go towards Merc. Because CQI is communicating, his cipher is almost done, his cipher is almost done, which is really, really clutch. Now he's chasing the forward right now, and he ended up missing that swing, but he's just going to go right back to me, because Ty Turner is up. And best case scenario is to let forward save if he uses about 60% of his football, so we can keep the mercs tied. Because look, there's only one cipher left, and it's about to be prime soon. And boom, I think he should go for a stun. And you see here that the forward did an amazing job when he get, went for the stun. Boom, and I'm gone. But he ended up not actually stunning. But, you know, it's fine, you guys. It's fine. You know, sometimes it just be like that. And it is what it is. But you see here that I'm going to get clapped by that statue. I didn't even see that John coming. And then, boom, I get smacked by that one. But, you know, I'm not tripping. You know, it's all good, baby, baby. So I know that the Merc can rescue me. But you know what the random does? The forward's like, nah, let me just rescue him with no tide and just pray to Jesus Christ he can kite. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So you see me here. I know he doesn't have detention, so everyone can body block me. You see me get clapped by that statue. I know that she just used a three stack, so I'm like, I'm good. Psyche he freaking teleports on me, y'all. But it's okay, but it's okay. I got three people body blocking me. I almost got a seer owl. And from here, it will be a four man. Hopefully you all did enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I'm Numer and I'm out.